everybody's running and the world is just so crazy. People work so hard, there's no time to be lazy. The weekend comes, I'm down with that. Grab your ball, grab your bat, head to the beach, grab some things. Better hurry up, just got some games. Playing games, and you're not rolling closer, they go down. Go to the mall, a lot of fun, it's a ride. Innocent citizens menaced by hunger. This looks like a job for the Pizza Avenger, Ender, Ender, and his spunky sidekick, Pilot. Pow! My work here is done. Crust, crust, and away! Uh, Pilot, could you, uh. <clears throat> you guys up for some pool? Um, I hate to sound like a school marm, but aren't you forgetting our dioramas are due Monday? Sorry, Tish. My weekend hearing just kicked in. Once you said the word school, it all just became blather, blather, blather. What's a marm? Oh, oh, oh. Well, Tish and I are going to start on our ancient Egypt diorama tonight. You guys should get going, too. If you wait around, you're going to waste the whole weekend. Yeah, you're doing the Mesa Verde cliff dwellers, right? Kirk, think. Work later. Uh-oh. Did you see that? Obviously, Carver and Laura are suffering from HPS, Homework Paralysis Syndrome. Let's check out this instant replay. Sometimes doing homework on the weekend is so overwhelming that just thinking about it makes their brains freeze up. And you know what happens then. Tish and I take pity on them and help them with their homework. Yeah, mostly by doing it for them. But that won't happen this time. We promise we are never going to make them come to our rescue again. No, we are totally going to do our own homework. Worst case of homework paralysis syndrome I've ever seen. Thrust, thrust, and away! Kapow! Okay. We finish our dioramas right away, then we can hang out together the rest of the weekend, right? Absolutely. Great idea. You bet. I am so stoked about this. Yeah, I can't wait to start on our home work. You know what to get us in a diorama frame of mind? A quick shopping break. There's a big sale on fur-lined bathing suits. If it's good enough for polar bears, it's good enough for me. Plans for a 12-foot granite pyramid with 20,000 miniature workers dragging stone blocks. Uh-huh. And I have here cardboard, glue, sticks, and paint. Okay. How about a one-foot pyramid with two miniature workers dragging a sugar cube? I know you spent a lot of time on those plans, Tish. I'm sorry you had to compromise your artistic vision. And I'm sorry you had to sit on a tube of paint. Oh, great. Looks like I sat on a leprechaun. Shopping requires total immersion. You have to use all six senses at once. But there's only five senses. Fashion sense. Ah. Uh, well, later days. Later days. The diorama! Dude, we can't make those guys bail us out. We promised. Yeah, we gotta start on our home. Work. <sighs> no sweat. It's okay. It's fine. You know what they say. Rome was built in a day. Oh, okay. I, mean, I don't think that's what they say. Well, they should start saying it. Uh, I didn't buy this. This for my sister? Oh, a chug of freeze would totally give me the will to live right now. Just think how good it'll taste when we're done. Ooh, yeah, you're right. You know, I hope Lauren Carver are really working on her diorama and not putting it off as usual. This time for sure. Please. More quarters, please. Well, it was a lot of work, but it was worth it. Well, it was a lot of work, but it was worth it. It sure was. You're ready for the professional fry catching circuit. Woo! Ten out of ten. Whoa, you beat us here. So you actually finished first? Um, sort of. Oh, no. You haven't even started on your assignment, have you? Our assignment. Guys, how are we going to hang out if you don't get your homework done? You're wrecking our weekend, too. We were waiting for an idea. That's kind of like working, isn't it? 
If you need an idea, just use your imagination. I think I sprained mine. It's easy. Just pretend your imagination is like a little TV inside your head. Close your eyes. Now turn on the TV and imagine you're a Mesa Verde cliff dweller. We grow beans, squash, and maize. We have domesticated the turkey. That's all I remember from class. Me too. Race you down a cliff. Last one down is a arm. Dwellers didn't have skateboards. Cliffs plus wheels equals bad. You know, there's no need to shout. Just because they ruined their weekend and ours and... You guys are hopeless! Wow, they're really mad. Don't worry, we'll finish that diorama. We always come through at the last minute. Wait, wait, no we don't. Tino and Tish always come through. We can't keep making them do that. Yeah, we could check out the Cliff Dweller exhibit at the museum. It's right down here. Wait! What's that cheese horrific aroma? Carver, we gotta get to the exhibit before the museum closes. Feta, a soft Greek cheese, is cured in a solution of brine, giving it a salty flavor. So please enjoy feta, the cheese that tastes better. Carver, come on! But it's cheese, Laura. Beautiful, tempting cheese. Join me in the cheese. Cheese! Mm, I believe I've reached maximum salt saturation. Closing time, get out now. What? We lost the whole afternoon! I'm about to lose something else. You must see people get sick a lot. It's my favorite thing about this job. It's not fair. They goofed off, and we pay for it by not getting to hang with our friends. Yeah. Do you think it's time to bail them out yet? Okay, guys. A mom can only pretend not to listen for so long. I was wondering what you were waiting for. You know what you're doing. You're enabling them. Enabling? Did you just make that word up? Wait, 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 I get it. We're making them able to keep blowing off their work by always coming to their rescue. So, we're actually stopping them from learning to do stuff for themselves. Which means that by helping our friends, we're really hurting them. That'd be a 10 on the right meter, compadre. Okay, how did you just convince me that we're the ones who are wrong? Answer that, and you've explained my whole life. It's the third one this month. What if Laura and Carver never finish their diorama? They could flunk out of school. They'll never get into college. They'll wind up selling pencils on a straight corner. On the plus side, it'll be the future, so they'll be like laser pencils or something, and they'll be going pew, pew, pew. Pew. If we help them, we're hurting them. But we have to help them. What can we do? Hang on. Maybe if they didn't want help... That sounds like your I have a plan voice. You know how competitive those guys are, right? They can't turn down a challenge. Ah, uh, of course, I see. You have no idea what I'm talking about. Explain it to me on the way. And now, hour 12 of our Teen Canyon Marathon. Kyle, Gordo thinks Louise is dating an alien from space. <laughs> Taggy bird! It's not what it looks like. We were just taking a break. From what? From feeling guilty about not working? Techie bird. Okay, it's obvious you can't handle a simple homework assignment, so we're here to do it for you. What do you mean we can't handle it? We're just having a little trouble getting started. Sure. Listen, now, uh, why don't you kids go play while we do the stuff that's too hard for you? Too hard? It's not too hard. We could do it if we really tried. You go ahead and think that if it makes you feel better. We don't think that. We know it. Yeah, and we'll prove it. We'll build this diorama, and we'll get an A to boot. Ooh. A B minus. Okay, if we're going to prove ourselves, we need an idea. Think. Must fight homework paralysis syndrome. Got to I know. The cliff dwellers domesticated the turkey. Turkey bird, buck, 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 buck. We did it. Yeah, in your face. That's great. Way to go. Thanks, guys. I guess we needed a kick in the butt to get us going. Well, that was a full weekend, huh? Carver and Laura defeated homework paralysis syndrome. Tish and I found out that sometimes you have to let your friends do their own work. And I ruined my best pair of pants. Okay, later days.